Hey guys, welcome to an episode of the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be talking about what's called state management. So what is state management? Well, the state management in this case we're going to be talking about is called MobX. And it's going to help us handle a lot of the data stuff in our React component. So for example, over here, um, all these data sources that you're seeing is being rendered by the data file that we have over here. So uh, this is okay for demonstration purposes, like what we have right here. But in the long run, where we have a large application, and we need to change the state and we need to modify the state and we need to get you know, more functionality than just, you know, getting an array of data and then just outputting it. Um, you know, later on, we're going to be building this to interact with an API server. Uh, so to do all that stuff, we need some kind of state management. And uh, in React, there's one called MobX. There's actually quite many. Um, there's one called Redux as well. Uh, but in this series right here, we're going to be focusing on MobX. And, uh, you know, I built out an app with MobX and I love it. So, that's why we're going to be using MobX. Uh, you can come and read all about the concepts and the ideas behind it, but we're just going to jump right in and actually use MobX to set up our store. All right, so what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be creating a new directory here uh, called the store folders, stores folder. And in here, we're going to create an index file. And then basically, we're going to create a store called contacts. So here we go, contacts.js. And then basically, uh, contacts is what we're going to be using um, to, uh, well, to store our contacts. So what we're going to do first is we're going to install Mob MobX and the MobX React bindings. So yarn add MobX, MobX React, save. So this is going to add MobX to our application. Uh, if you haven't been if you haven't been following along, we have a source code, uh, and basically you can download the source code and follow along, and simply just take off right where we are. Um, and so so now we have MobX installed. So the next thing we're going to need to do is set up the store. So uh, first we're going to make it like we're basically just going to copy all the data from here and put it in the store itself. Uh, so once we have MobX installed, it's very easy. So import observable from MobX. And then basically here we're going to do a class uh, contacts. It's just going to be a simple class. We're going to do observable all equals. And then we here we're going to have the array. So in here is where we're going to duplicate all that data. So I'm going to cut all this from here uh, and then paste it in here just like that. So this is basically gives us uh, the store. And so what we need to do now is export this thing. So uh, export default new uh, contacts. So this we need to instantiate is as an instance like this uh, for it to work. And then what we need to do here is, is exactly what we have here. Uh, so as you can see, I've tried this out before. So um, what we're doing here is essentially we're doing uh, importing the contacts from the contacts file. So from here. We're doing the import, um, and then basically uh, we're putting it in a stores uh, constant, and then we're exporting the stores constant. Simple enough. So how do we use this in our uh, in our app? Okay. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import the stores from stores. So when we do import stores, we're gonna get the index, so get everything from here, uh, and then basically. Uh, what we need to do here is uh, use what's called the provider. So uh, the provider is going to be what's going to inject um, the object, the store, uh, into the component. Uh, and then I'm going to show you guys how to do that. There's a few parts that, that add into that. So first, we're just going to set it up real quick. Uh, so here I'm going to do import provider from a MobX React. And so here we're gonna pa give the we're gonna use a provider component. All right. So um, now for the provider, we're gonna pass a contacts. So contacts equals stores dot contacts. So basically, the provider will allow us to like you know inject the whole uh, all the stores into the component that we need it in. 
Uh, so let me show you what I mean by that. So in the collection page over here, in the collection uh, component, what we want to do is use the uh, observer. Uh, so observer from MobX React. And then basically, uh, we want to set up our, um, our collection uh, JS over here to um, observe on the contacts uh, store. So observer. contacts, just like that. So now, uh, once we have all this set up, we will be able to access the contact store using this dot props dot contacts dot all. So the all will basically allow us to access um, this array over here. Uh, and then basically, we can just render out, uh, you know, the contacts using our, um, our MobX store. So um, what else do we need to do? So once we're using this, this is kind of like the um, the decorator. Uh, and so what we need to do is enable that in Babel. So right now this won't work just yet. So you can do npm start. Uh, this is going to fail to build and it's going to tell us exactly why. Uh, and then basically we're going to install the, the package and then it should you know solve everything. So here we have this Babel plugin transform decorator legacy. Uh, what we need to do is install this over here. So uh, what I'm going to do then is uh, I'm going to head over into here, uh, open up a new tab over here like this, and we're going to do yarn add. So you see I've already done this once before. And then basically it's going to install the Babel plugin into our application and we'll have access to it in our configuration file. So I'm just going to copy the text. So transform decorators legacy. And then basically I'm going to head over to Adam. Uh, and then go into our webpack config and then add that configuration file uh, a configuration in the plugins just like that. And so once I've added that, I need to um, close out the webpack and then restart it. And it's now going to rebuild my uh, my application. As you can see now it works. So I'm going to head over into the collection here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to render my contacts instead of using the, the component state to store the contacts, like using the data over here. Uh, I'm going to be using this.props.contacts.all.slice. So slice will return us an array even if our all, uh, the all property is empty. Uh, it's going to return us an empty array, so it's safe for us to use map with it. Uh, so be sure to use slice. Uh, so once I reload the page now, everything should be the same. But the difference is we have access to our MobX store. So as you can see here, everything is working now. Um, so this is actually coming from the MobX store. Uh, so for example, if I, um, you know, if I just root break this for a second, you'll see. So if I just do maps directly, you're going to see that it breaks. Um, and because you know, we're not using it right. So as you can see here, it's complain Mobix is complaining. Um, so here, I'm going to put all the slice back. And then I'm going to head back over here. And you will see that everything is now working. And these data uh, sets, this data set is actually coming from our MobX store. Very, very cool. So this sets up the foundation for us to like go ahead and build out our application uh, much, much further. Like we can, you know, connect it to an API um, and we can make it like, like we can start now to connect with the API. But before that, we're going to refactor this code. Like for example, we need to be able to add a new contact and then you'll really start to see the power um, of the store just locally on our computer to get everything to work again before we move over into like syncing up with the cloud and stuff like that. Uh, so that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys found that useful. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Become a member on our site to support us. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.